Hey guys, Coach Jeremy here from How To Hockey. Welcome to week two of Feature Friday where I find a great piece of content, share it on this channel so you guys get the best content and the people making it get the exposure they deserve. This one is also from Mountain High Hockey. Last week we shared a bit of an open hip warm up and in this one it's a pre-practice edge warm up. So this little edge work routine is going to take you about two minutes but it's going to help you really feel more comfortable on your skates. So something that I'm a big believer in is the compounding effect. That's where you do something very small every single day or on a regular basis and over the long run it really builds up and makes you a better player. So take practice or games for example instead of just skating in circles kind of doing a general warm up. You're doing something very specific it only takes about two minutes but you're challenging yourself in those two minutes and you do that over and over and over and a year or two years from now that's going to have a really big effect on you. So that's what these guys are talking about. That's what we're doing in this video. Let's take a look. Thanks for tuning in to Mountain High Hockey. Okay, last week we worked on warming up our hips and using our inside edge to get around the puck and work on our edges. Today, I'm going to work you through a series of edge drills that we can do to work on our balance, our coordination, and our edge work before practice starts or even if we're on a public session, we can do these drills and it's going to make us better hockey players. All right, to become better hockey players and better skaters, we have to be comfortable on our edges. But before we can get on our inside and outside edge, we have to be comfortable on our blades. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get in the middle of our blades, we're going to bend our knees, we're going to get our knees over our toes, and we're going to do a drill that just isolates the lower half of our body. We're going to try and stay in the middle of our edges, and we're going to try and move our feet as fast as we can with our feet together, almost like a rudder on a boat. Now remember, you're not going to be going as fast as you can because we're not digging in and using our edges. This is a drill to warm up our hips, to warm up our knees, and more importantly to warm up our ankles. And make sure our knees are always over our toes and we're in that ready position. You can keep your head up, obviously that's important, but we want to make sure that our feet are together and we're working on our boots. So now that we've practiced being on the middle of our blades and getting comfortable on our skates, now we're going to do one where we're on the inside and outside edge of our skates. We're going to do the same thing, we're going to take one push, we're going to have our feet together, but now we're going to slalom like we're skiing. We're going to have our boots touching and we're going to use our inside edge and our outside edge evenly. We want to use one hand on our stick when we're doing all of these drills because if we have two hands we get the tendency to lean on that stick and these are skating exercises so we want to make sure our sticks out in front of us it's not going to the side but we're not relying on it when it comes to using our feet so all these edge drills that we're doing we start with two feet our feet together and then we progress into doing one foot at a time now we can make these drills easier or more challenging by seeing how long we can hold it and the speed that we can pick up. We can also challenge ourselves by making sure that we stay low the whole time, our knees are over our toes, and making sure that our upper body is completely still. Now just remember, you can work on your shot off the ice, but you can't work on your edges. So when you're on that ice, let's make sure we're using it to become better skaters, have more balance, more agility, and be really comfortable on our skates. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're not already subscribed to Mountain High Hockey, you should be. There's going to be a little card up in one of these corners. Click on it, and you can go right to their channel, hit that subscribe button. They do some great videos. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button on this channel because we do new hockey videos every week to help make you a better hockey player. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Remember, the only time that inside skate is touching the ice is when we're pushing for a nice, powerful stride. Knees are over our toes, and let's make sure our top hand is always down as low as we can to make sure we get that proper knee bend.